Here's another example of very good continuity. When the skipper drops this broken chunk of pole, it knocks his hat off, and then immediately we see them running to the lagoon and he's putting his hat back on. Good continuity considering these were indoor and outdoor shots. Here's a case where this particular camera set up and then the one that's the close-up of the skipper must have been at two different times. When the skipper comes up out of the water, we see he grabs this Y-shaped thing with his left hand and to the left of the Y-shaped thing, we see four pretty tightly lashed bamboo poles. Then in the close-up showing the skipper, he's still holding on to the Y-shaped object with his left hand and the four poles are poking into him. Then later we see why, because the four closely lashed poles are on the other side of the raft as seen in this shot. So that means they had the raft totally flipped around between the close up and the longer shot of this initial sequence. And here comes a monarch butterfly that wanted to get into the scene. We have a little discrepancy here. Large, last year we had a Hurricane Emma, of course. There was no Hurricane Emma, but there was a Typhoon Emma in 1962. I had a little bit of trouble identifying this camera. The closest thing I could find was this, which is called a Canera 35. I think that's how it's pronounced from about 1925. And I wondered if they found one of those or something similar and then modified it because the lenses look like they're kind of stuck inside a little box there. If anyone has any information as to exactly what this camera is, I would like to hear from them. She only has a hole in her the size of a 10 pound rutabaga. I don't know here if the professor has an itch or what his problem is within his pocket. He acts like something is falling out. Notice the fast arms on the professor from here to here. This is a case where they dig out an old prop. The easel that the map is leaning against here is actually the same one used in episode 34 when artist Duboff comes to the island. And you can match up these paint spots here. This paint spot up here that looks like it has these little devil horns pointing to the left matches up. And also these here match up. And it's interesting that even though episode 34 was in black and white, they did use different colored paint. And now we know that he was using blue. Don't forget, the entire three-disc DVD set of this work is available by visiting the link below. And right now is a good time to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so. Thanks.